Hi again. This is the second part to the suspicious cake prank. Also some big news. I created a Discord server. If you'd like to join the link is in the description below. This was a suggestion from Mihaya Jakovi, so thanks for that. Also, my Instagram is in the description below if you want to follow it. Hope you enjoy. I do not own the Heikaiyu characters and this does not accurately represent the Heikaiyu characters. I am almost done preparing so I will probably be the next to post. It's not a competition. I was just warning you all. Consider us warned. Desuga. Suga had gotten the cake ingredients earlier, since it was his idea for the prank. He also got rat poison, since him and Deji were having some rat problems. What he didn't plan for, was for the rat poison to sit next to the ingredients. He didn't use it in the cake, but it was mixed in among the ingredients he did use. Suga. Suga had just put the cake in the oven as he heard Deji call him. Do I smell cake? Yeah. What kind? I think it was devil's food cake. Oh, oh sounds good. You'd hope. The recipe's phrase was. It's so good it's deadly. Is it a Halloween themed one? Dot. Sure? Yum. Tell me when it's done. Okay. Suga called in a sickeningly sweet tone. One hour later. Suga set up his phone as he finished the frosting. Is it ready? Yeah. Deji started walking downstairs as Suga started cutting a piece of cake. Smells delicious. I know. Deji walked into the kitchen and looked at the cake in amazement. Looks good too. Suga smiled evilly as he gestures for Deji to have a piece. What's with the creepy smile? Oh. Suga quickly stopped smiling as he bit his lip. Question mark. Suga picked up the piece of cake as he tried to give it to Deji. Here. Eat. Now. Calm down. No. Do it now. Suga frowned as he shoved the cake towards Deji. Eat it. Can't I eat it at the table? Dot. Suga looked between the table and Deji nervously as he tried shoving the cake at Deji again. No. What's the rush? We're closer to the door here. What does that have to do with eating cake? Dot. Dot. I don't know. Suga's voice was quiet and almost sounded like a whimper. What's wrong? Just eat the cake. Suga placed the plate in Deji's hand as he looked at Deji expectantly. Deji was about to take a bite of the cake when he noticed something mixed into the ingredients behind Suga. Did you poison the cake? Deji looked at Suga confused as he moved Suga out of the way and pulled out the rat poison from the mix of ingredients. No. Suga grabbed the rat poison, genuinely surprised. At least. I don't think so. Suga looked at it curiously, trying to remember if he had put it in or not. Were you trying to poison me? Not seriously. Suga looked at Deji seriously as he took the plate and placed the cake into the trash and placed the rest of the cake in the trash as well. What is happening? Deji stood in the kitchen, very confused. I was trying to prank you. But, I forgot that I had bought rat poison earlier with the cake ingredients. I guess I didn't put it away, and now I'm not sure if it went into the cake so that is why the cake is now in the trash. Hold on. You were pranking me. Yeah, I mean you got the gist. I was supposed to act suspicious about the cake and you were supposed to assume I did something to it. So, the rat poison wasn't part of it. No. I wouldn't go that far. Suga walked over to his phone and grabbed it as he showed Deji. So is this revenge for my last prank? Not for me, personally. I already got you back for that. It is for the others that got pranked and freaked out. I just had the idea. Suga smiled at Deji as Deji shook his head disapprovingly. Where'd you get the idea for this? I don't know. So it isn't from a deeper desire to actually poison me with cake. The world may never know. Suga. Suga stopped the recording as he went into the group chat. In the revenge. Cake short cake. Group chat. Sugara sent an attachment. Rat. That is very dangerous. I know. That's why we wasted a perfectly good cake. Just in case. Face with tears of joy. How do you not remember? I was busy making a cake by myself. I would have noticed and I am by myself. Again. You're Kita. You can literally do anything. Except. Win nationals. Face rolling on the floor laughing. Well neither did any of you. Salt shaker. That was years ago. No need to bring it up. Well that got sad fast. How about we go back to making cakes. And the ones who have gone can relax. Shiraboo. Stop watching the TV and help. I did. Butcher knife. 
smiling face with squinting eyes. Why did I get paired with you? I wanna switch. You can't. You're stuck with him. Help. Face blowing a kiss. Sakuatsu and Tsunaosa. Atsumu and Sakusa had just arrived at Tsuna and Asamu's house as they knocked on the door. Asamu opened the door. Hey Sakusa. Hi. Dot. Asamu moved out of the doorway as the two walked in and Atsumu walked towards the kitchen. Hey guys. Tsuna was in the living room picking out a movie to watch, as Sakusa walked towards the couch. Dot. It's in the dryer. Thanks. Sakusa grabbed out a clean sheet as he placed it over the spot he was going to be sitting at. Asamu walked into the kitchen and joined Atsumu. There was a space between the counter and cupboards, where they could see the TV and living room. What movie? Something light-hearted. Anything horror. I don't care. Guess we're watching a comedy. Horror. Movie? Yeah. Sounds like it. Suna glared at the two as his expression changed to confusion. Atsumu quickly set up his phone. What are you guys doing in the kitchen? Dot. Dot. Samu wanted to pa. Practice. Cooking. And teach it to Tsumu. Asamu slapped Atsumu on the back of the head. Gently. Yep. Dot. Okay. Suna continued looking for the specific type of movie. Atsumu and Asamu rummaged through the kitchen to get the ingredients for the cake. Don't tell them. Asamu yelled at Atsumu in a whisper loud enough for the other two to hear. Well they aren't going to be able to do anything soon anyways. They could run. I think we could catch them. Then it gets harder too. The end of the sentence was muffled. The other two couldn't hear it. Sakusa and Suna looked at each other confused. Just play the movie. Right. Suna started the movie as the twins started making the cake. Soon Atsumu was just sitting on the counter playing on his phone. Since he stopped recording because nothing was happening. Atsumu stopped helping soon after which made Asamu agitated and accidentally spill the batter on Atsumu's pants. Samu. Oops. Asamu shrugged as he placed the cake into the oven. Maybe you should have helped. We are annoying them not each other. Too late. Atsumu glared at Asamu as he grabbed a towel and wiped off the batter. Lend me pants. No. I wasn't asking. Atsumu quickly changed and got back to the kitchen. Thirty minutes later. It's ready. Atsumu set up his phone again and started recording. Shush. Asamu pulled out the cake as their boyfriends made their way to the dining table. Asamu walked the cake over to the dining table and set it down. Atsumu brought plates and forks. They cut the pieces and were about to eat the cake when Atsumu jumped up. Wait. He looked at Asamu worriedly. We forgot the powdered sugar. The powdered sugar? You know the poi. Powdered sugar, right. Atsumu walked back to the kitchen and actually grabbed a bowl of powdered sugar and a sifter. Who wants some? No thanks. Asamu answered quicker than expected which threw the other two off. Ah. Uh, um. Powdered sugar for you too it is. Atsumu sifted the sugar on the cake as he avoided eye contact and kept looking anxiously at Asamu. Actually. I do. It'll be better with it. Atsumu nodded as he put some on his and Asamu's. Dot. This looks good. Then try it. Asamu said again quickly and seemed too excited about it. I didn't want powdered sugar. Too bad. You must have it. Must? Dot. I really wanna know. Asamu looked at the powdered sugar curiously. Does it work? It better. Atsumu looked up at their boyfriends as they looked at the two. Are you going to eat it? What do you want to work? The poise. Pop of flavors I added to it. Poise? Pop. That isn't what you said. It is. It isn't. Just eat the cake. You first. Dot. Dot. The twins looked at each other nervously as they both grabbed a bite of their piece. The twins hesitantly put the bites in their mouths as both their boyfriends started freaking out. Wait. Don't eat it. Sakusa stood up as he grabbed the fork out of Atsumu's hand and threw it on the table. Suna ran to Asamu as he forced his mouth open, which caused him to drop the bite. What the hell were you thinking? That's dangerous. Dot. Dot. Since when? I was thinking of having cake. Why is it dangerous to eat cake? Well, that would be. Because. Because? It's poisoned? Wow, you think Samu's cooking is that bad? You guys hinted at it this whole time. Hinted at what? Poison. Did we? I don't know. Why would we poison the cake and then eat it? Dot. Dot. Wouldn't it be more likely that we just wanted cake? But. You were acting so weird. Samu was acting excited and Atsu was acting so nervous. 
Excuse me for being excited for you guys to eat my food. So can we eat now? I don't think I want any. Me neither. That is harsh. You're just that bad at baking. If anything was bad about it, it would have to be the parts you did. Rude. That's not it. We just don't trust it. Fine then. More for us, I guess. Atsumu and Asamu both took another bite and actually ate it, as nothing happened. I'm confused. This is too much. Ha ha. We drained their brains. That's what they get. Yeah. What is going on? It's a prank. Atsumu smiled as he pointed to his phone. Asamu smirked. A prank? What kind of prank? Poisoning your boyfriend. What? Acting suspicious about a cake, actually. To make you assume that we may be poisoning you. That is oddly specific and complicated. Well it was Suga's idea. Makes sense. It couldn't have been yours, Sumu. Yeah, he doesn't think that hard about anything. No need to be so rude. You have officially started a prank war, you know that, right? This was just to get you back. Yeah. No need to do any pranks afterwards. Oh, but we will. Suna walked behind Asamu as he wrapped his arms around his neck and placed his chin on Asamu's head. Show me the GC. Why should I? Because someone needs to save the videos you are recording to share with the other GC. Wouldn't you rather it be me than someone else? I guess. Be ready, Atsu. I will get you back. Sakusa grabbed Atsumu and placed a kiss on Atsumu's forehead as Atsumu stopped the recording. In the revenge. Cake shortcake. Group chat. Atsumu sent an attachment. Prank war. No. Too much work. Why was I dragged into this? Because it's funny. Did you see how freaked out Sakusa and Suna were? Face with tears of joy. He still won't eat the cake. LOL. I just joined to make a cake, not join a war. Too late Red Heart. Ugh. I think the prank war started. No complaining now. You guys just forced me to join. You volunteered to come to my place. Dot. That's what I thought. Asamu added Suna. Hello. Hi. Hello Suna. You added Kita. You guys added Aaron first. My idea winking face. It didn't work. I know. I saw. Uh not another one. And Shiribu. Yep. Thought it would be funny. Guess we have to add Semi. That isn't necessary. We aren't a part of the prank war. Now you are smiling face with Halo. Didn't think we'd be getting your commentary as well. Why not? It's fun. Anyways. Let the others get back to the baking. What baking? The baking I did by myself. Shrug. Pouting face. Simishira and Matsuhana. Maki was sitting on the couch, next to Matsun as he was texting the group chat. This was in the beginning. Semi and Shiribu are coming over. Okay? Shiribu just told me they were coming over so I guess they are. Okay, I guess. And we're making a cake. You and Semi can do whatever while we do that. Okay. Just thought you should know. Okay. Got anything else to say? What do you want me to say? I love you. Fine, I love you. Maki smiled. Love ya. There was a knock on the door. Ugh. Maki got up from the couch and opened the door. There stood Shiribu with a bag of ingredients and Semi was standing next to him. Sorry for the intrusion. You ready? Yeah come on in. Shiribu and Semi walked into the living room as Matson got up from the couch to greet them. Been a while. I guess so. What's new? Apparently Shira can bake. Oh really? Well I guess so since he's making a cake with Maki. The two continued their small talk as Maki and Shiribu made their way into the kitchen. Did you get everything? Yep. Good. Let's start. Maki started preping for the cake as Shiribu started playing on his phone. Are you going to help? At some point. Maki started making the batter as Shiribu continued to not help. Maki finished up the batter as he poured it into a baking tray. Shiribu then took the tray and put it in the oven. See I helped. Oh and how much help you were. I know. Maki rolled his eyes as they now just had to sit and wait for the cake to bake. One hour later. The cake was out of the oven. Frosting on it. Phone set up. And the two were ready to start the prank. It's ready. Can you bring us some? We're in the middle of an important fight. Matson and Semi were playing a video game on the TV. Ah. Uh, Maki looked at Shiribu. As they started acting. It might be easier if they are sitting. Maybe. Sure. We'll bring them to you. Maki and Shiribu cut the pieces of cake as they took them into the living room. Smells good. Thanks. We made it just for you. Thanks? 
Sammy glanced up at Sheribu as he noticed him standing stiffly and just not looking at him. Are you okay? Fine. Sheribu was loud which made Sammy suspicious of him. Hey. Yeah. Can I talk to you in the kitchen? Sure. Sammy paused the game as they walked into the kitchen. Sammy noticed the phone as they entered the kitchen. What are you recording? Nothing. Shira, your phone is recording in the living room. Dot. That's also not how you act when you're nervous. Well, this is a failure. What is? The prank. Oh? Prank? Yeah. Can I join? Yeah. Let me explain what is going on. Okay. In the living room. Now that it's paused want some cake. I made it with a special ingredient this time. It's killer. Mackie handed the cake to Matson. As Matson noticed Mackie's hand was shaking a bit. Are you nervous or something? Wah, what no? What do I have to be nervous about? Dot. Nothing, I guess. Matson shrugged as Mackie started rocking back and forth on his feet, anxiously. Seriously, what's up? Nothing, seriously. Uh huh. Matson looked at Mackie not believing him. Eat your cake. Not until you tell me what's wrong. Nothing will be if you eat the cake. Why are you acting nervous? Well I wouldn't be if you ate your cake. Why the cake? Because it will key. Mackie covered his mouth as Sammy and Sheribu walked into the room. Hey, Sammy really liked the cake. Sheribu winked at Mackie, before Matson could turn to look at them. That's good to hear. Matson still hasn't tried it. Hey, what was in that cake? Why? I'm not feeling so good. It must be the special ingredient. Dot. What is the special ingredient? Oh you know. Shira. Sammy fell to his knees holding his stomach. What the hell is that ingredient? Matson sprung up as he ran to Sammy's side. It's clearly something Sammy can't handle. Ugh. Sorry, babe. I don't feel good. I know. Sammy was holding his stomach and just sat there. You suck. Question mark. Can't even act. It was last minute. And it's not like you could talk. I figured you out right away. What the hell? Are you okay? Oh, right. Neither of you can act. Sammy. I'm okay, they were pranking us. He figured it out though. From your bad acting. And the camera. Anyways, it was a prank. You've been pranked. But, deal with it. Mackie walked over to Matson and sat next to him, placing his head on Matson's shoulder. Why? Cause we wanted to. And the group chat. And a little bit of the prank war. Prank war? Don't even think about it. Didn't have to think about it. I'm joining. You better not. Too late. It's decided. That was a ficking terrifying prank. I know. Almost like seeing a clown in the mirror. That wasn't even the prank. Well you did two pranks so this seems fair. I'm going to play my game now and not eat that cake. Sammy join me. Okay. Sheribu rolled his eyes as he placed himself in between Sammy's legs and cuddled up to him. Sammy placed his arms around Sheribu, controller in hand, and started playing their game again. In the revenge. Cake shortcake. Group chat. Sheribu sent an attachment. I feel bad for Matson. You shouldn't. He's fine. Grinning face with tightly closed eyes. What is that special ingredient? Love? Poor Semi. Can't handle Sheribu's love. Wouldn't it be the other way around? Most likely. I don't like any of you. That is not the truth. Face with single finger over mouth in shushing gesture. Face with a zipper mouth. We have to get going. Our cake is. IDK. Not okay. Do you need help? Not now. Guess the last three should get back to their baking. Good luck. Hope you enjoyed the video. The next video will be They Left Part 4. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Also, if you'd like to support me and maybe buy me a coffee so that I can stay awake while writing and editing videos late at night, there is a link in the description. Thank you for watching the video.